Hello, everyone. Jeff from RespawnStudios.com, back with episode three of Just a Taste. And we're getting into my favorite genre of games now, horror. <laughs> uh, this is Dead Space 2, which came out in February of this year. And this probably would have easily been my game of the year if it weren't for L.A. Noir, which I think is still my leading candidate right now. Though Skyrim is also up there. There's so many great games this year, which is awesome. But anyway, back to the task at hand. Um, if you haven't played the first game, or even if you have, they have this really awesome little video down at the bottom there, previously on Dead Space, where it takes you through this awesome animated and set of cutscenes where it talks to you about um, what happened in the first game. And then you could, I'm doing New Game Plus because that's one of my favorite features in games. Once you beat it, you could start over using your same money and armor. And I'm playing on casual just for the sake of this video and because I like playing on casual. It's just a relaxing way to play a game. All right, but this opening cutscene is pretty awesome, so I'm going to shut up and raise the game volume so you could um, see this opening scene. I'll be back in a bit. Isaac, are you there? Come in, Isaac. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, Isaac. Look at the time difference. Oh, I'll call no, you back okay. later. It's okay. How are you doing? Good. You're right, Isaac. The Ishmer is a great ship. I am so lucky to be serving aboard her. Enjoy it while it lasts. You know they're going to decommission her next year. Isaac. Thank you. For what? For just pushing me to do this. I mean, if it weren't for you, I never would have made it this far, because you made me stick with it. I'll just remember, I'm giving you up for six months so you can do this. You know what? We must be getting on a range of things, Isaac, Isaac, can you hear me? I'm going to call you back as soon as I can. Isaac! Isaac! You were drifting away for a moment there, Mr. Clark. I believe you were telling me about your nightmares that you've been having. About your dead girlfriend. What was her name? Nicole. I didn't want it to end like this. I really wanted to see you again. Just once. I loved you. I always loved you. Yes. Nicole Brennan. She was a senior medical officer stationed aboard a Planet Cracker class vessel. Ishimura. USG Ishimura, yes. Part of a mining operation on Aegis 7. I understand communications went down shortly after their arrival. You were part of the repair mission. A mission for which you volunteered, am I right? What did you find aboard that ship, Isaac? They found something. What did they find aboard the ship, Isaac? The marker. Did you have contact with this marker? It made you see things, didn't it? Things you didn't want to see. It spoke to me. What did it say, Isaac? What did it say to you, Isaac? Isaac! Isaac, can you hear me? Isaac. Isaac, can you hear me? Dana, I found Isaac Clark. Repeat, I have him. Great work, Franco. Be careful. He's been out a long time. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Good, good. Steady, steady, steady. We gotta get you out of this straitjacket. Where, where am I? All right, I, I know you're confused right now. I can explain everything, but you gotta trust me, okay? Listen. You're in terrible, terrible danger. Franco? Franco, what happened? Oh, God. 
All right, that's just awesome. <laughs> this is one of the best like opening ten minutes to a video game I have ever experienced. It's just incredible. <laughs> if you don't want to play this game after watching this, then either you'd be too scared to play it, or you just don't like good games. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's just incredible. Um, but essentially, I guess I'll just give you a brief recap of the series. So the first Dead Space, you play as this guy, <laughs> who is an engineer. And as you saw in the opening cutscene, he went to the ship where they weren't getting any more um, audio communications from, where his wife worked. It's a planet cracker ship, which means they like um, send these laser drills into the core of planets to get out minerals. And they don't really care about any life on the planets. <laughs> And they, on one of the planets, Aegis 7, they cracked into the core and they found this strange artifact, which looks kind of strange. You will see it all over the place in the first game and the second. Um, but it has this like weird effect on your mind and your head and it starts to like change people. So... Um, <laughs> they turn into what are called necromorphs. And they are basically these weird types of aliens, and there are different types of them. It's not all like the same type. And you can't really kill them just by shooting them. That's one of the sort of unique things of the game. You have to cut off their limbs. This is pretty disgusting and awesome. <laughs> but I'm just going to keep talking. Um, but you can pay attention to what's going on here. Um, so yeah, the necromorphs, you have to kill them by cutting off limbs. You can't just shoot them over and over again wherever. You have to sever their limbs so they can't like regenerate or anything. <laughs> you really have to like mess them up. And your primary weapon to do that is like an engineering tool called the plasma cutter, which is used to like cut into rocks or different objects to get minerals but it's very effective at cutting off limbs and there are lots of other cool spacey type weapons but <laughs> there's like a flamethrower and some other things um, different plasma weapons but my favorite thing is just upgrading the plasma cutter because it's very effective and especially if you're playing on easy or normal it's all you'll really ever need um, so you see that on the back of your suit where it's red that's like your health so there's no like health bar in the screen there's no HUD in the game which is kind of amazing I love when games do that so you just see your health that way and there's a guy cutting his own throat oh my god that's disgusting um, but that's how you see your health and then when you have health packs you could just hit I think it's B or X and you just regain your health so you don't have to worry about it and to see your ammo, when you hold down, I think it's right trigger to zoom in or to aim, you can see on the gun itself how many shots are left in the clip. And then you could reload that way. So again, I love that whole feature of not having a HUD. It makes it a much more immersive experience in a very um, more engrossing game. And especially in a horror game, I, I think it's a very nice touch. Because you're much more just worried about the characters and not like all of these things on the screen blocking what's going on. It makes you feel more part of the game world, so the sounds and the visuals are much more impactful, which I think is very well done. And it's weird. I am a huge fan of horror games. The, all the Resident Evils, really, even though the new ones are kind of more like action games. Um, all the Silent Hills, the Fatal Frames. But I never really played Dead Space until Dead Space 2 came out. And then I beat it about four times <laughs> in two weeks. I couldn't stop playing it. It's so good. And then I went back and played the first one, which is almost just as good. It's crazy. I can't believe I ever overlooked this series. I highly suggest this for any fans of the horror genre or just action, third-person action games. It's great. The story is really nice. The graphics are some of the best you will see, period. And it's just an enjoyable game. Both games are very short, but again, I if it's a good game, I don't care. Because <laughs> I want to beat it again anyway. But 
Okay, I think that's going to do it. I think that hopefully gave you enough of a taste of what Dead Space 2 is like. And I very much recommend this for really anyone. <laughs> and there's one of the necromorphs. Dun, dun, dun. All right, but hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.